Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted news video. Are you tired of the, game, of the news yet? Hopefully not, because uh, I, f I feel like I've said that for every every video on the VR game. But there's been so many things coming out. We got the trailer and the teaser the other day. We actually have another teaser that's not on ScottGames.com, but was actually uploaded by steel wool studios which if you didn't know was the company making the vr game with scott so we got that we got um additional features we got you know we got so many things we have stuff explaining things from the trailer we've we've just got so many more news and i don't know how much how much more news we're gonna get because one of the things we are going to look at is a possible release date for the game which is actually pretty soon so um i think we should just jump into it so just in case you might have missed it this is the new teaser up on scottcams.com it's it's just of some characters that are going to be featured in fnaf vr help wanted obviously we have freddy the main guy of course he's going to be there fnaf 1 freddy bonnie chica and foxy so basically the whole fnaf gang uh the fnaf 1 gang then down here we have circus baby from sis location Two toy animatronics, Toy Bonnie and Toy Freddy. And we also have Toy Chica over on the right side of Freddy. Nightmare Yawn, which is surprising because Nightmare Yawn is actually not canon to the lore. So I'm interested to see how they are going to fit into the um, into the game. And then we have a new model of Funtime Foxy. And then also, I think in my last video I called this Nightmare, F um, uh, Nightmare Bonnie, but... With further inspection or closer, closer, uh, with a closer look, it's it's actually plus trap from FNAF 4. So, I did already cover this teaser, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It's I did it in the last video. It's linked down below. Definitely go check it out if you're interested. And yeah, so now we're just going to move on to even more news. Next up, we have PlayStation's actual website, PlayStation.blog. All of these are linked down in the description, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. But this this is a whole blog about the game. I'm not going to go over every single bit of it because, again, it is linked down below for you guys to read on your own. But we got a few lines I just wanted to show you guys. Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted is... Uh, uh, it's just this top line. Up this one. Nope. This one. Uh, this one. FNAF VR Help Wanted is a collection of VR experiences based on the original Five Nights at Freddy's games, but it includes several new experiences as well. So, we're going to have exper experiences from FNAF 1, FNAF 2, FNAF 3, FNAF 4. Those have all been confirmed by trailers or teasers, all of which I have mentioned beforehand and all linked below for you guys to go check out. So, this location is also confirmed because we have the Funtime Foxy um, Sis Location Night 3 recreation of it in VR where we're crawling through Funtime Auditorium trying to get somewhere and we have to avoid Funtime Foxy. Pizza Sim has not been confirmed yet so we don't know if that's going to make an appearance and also Custom Night we don't know. So maybe that could be the new experiences or it could also be um, Fred Bear's Family Diner because as you're going to see later on we do have an official model for Spring Bonnie. So that is also a possibility. Or it may just be like revamped locations, like newer locations for FNAF 1, such as the kitchen, which we haven't actually seen before. So that could be a new one. And then down at the bottom is another one. Um, I actually put this down in the comment section of my last video, but I thought I'd just put it here, seeing as we're here anyways. There are also new features. For the first time in a Freddy's game, you can now own collectibles that you can play with at the prize counter. Find plushies, bobbleheads, and action figures, and more. So, as we're playing the game, we're going to be able to find bobbleheads, action figures, plushies, and different collectibles that we can then use, probably on a separate um, screen. Like when we're on the main menu, it'll probably have like new game, continue, uh, it might even have a level select. Extras, maybe. Don't think it'll have a custom night, but who knows? It is a Freddy's game. And then probably it'll have 
you know, like collectibles or prize counter, and then when you click on that, it'll take you to the prize counter from FNAF 2, presumably, seeing as that's only the really one we, only the really one we know of, only, re really the only one we know of, there we go, and then we can buy different things, maybe, I don't know, I honestly don't know what we could buy, maybe the secret mini games that require certain action figures to play, and that's how we're going to get our lore, seeing as that's kind of how we got it from Pizza Sim. So, who knows? But we are going to be able to interact with collectibles, which is going to be pretty exciting and probably very difficult to find the collectibles. But I'm sure co completionists out there will try their absolute best. Next up, we actually have some reviews. Well, not really reviews. There's no reviews. But there are some details from Metacritics, which I don't have much experience with Metacritics. This is actually my first time on the site. But presuming, based on the name and based on what I can see here, it's a place where reviewers can leave reviews on games, movies, and probably other things like books. But there is already one for FNAF VR Help Wanted, which, by the way, it is confirmed that it's called Help Wanted. I know that was leaked a little bit ago, but... It is confirmed the official title is Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. So, there's no reviews yet. The release date, apparently, is going to be sometime in April of this year, 2019. And that's pretty close. I'm recording this on March 26th. That's right, I don't know the date of today. Quite. Um, the rating is T, which stands for something. <laughs> I'm, I'm presuming teenager... But I don't know. I don't really look at ratings a whole lot. Developer Scott, obviously. Genres, action, adventure, and survival. Obviously, that's survival is obvious. Action, probably because of the jump scares, I would guess. And adventure, because you are going from location to location. Special controllers, VR, yeah, and all that stuff. So, PlayStation, all that stuff, yeah. So, April 2019 is a possible release date. It doesn't say an exact date, but it does give us a month. But this is not confirmed. No one at Steel Wool or even Scott has confirmed this at all. So it might even drop tomorrow. Uh, that, <laughs> that would be really interesting. I am hoping to get a VR. I know. All right. We'll, we'll talk about this at the end of the video. Hopefully I remember. But if not, then while I'm editing this, right? Editing me. Don't forget to add this if you haven't already. Talk about Darko's live stream. So something interesting is that it was actually a different teaser than the one that I made a video on the other day, featuring Freddy, Funtime Foxy, and then Nightmare on in the middle. Apparently, there is another one where it has Freddy, Funtime Foxy, and then Spring Bonnie in the middle. This is the official Spring Bonnie model, and if you can tell. It looks exactly the same from Springtrap. It's literally just him where he's fixed up. The nose really gives it away. It's it's that classic, you know, Springtrap nose. And I was about to say the ears, but then all the rabbit's ears look the same. So yeah, that's the official model. And my guess is we are going to end up seeing it in the game. And we're probably even going to be able to see Fred Bear's family diner. And then maybe, just maybe... Fred Bear, but we can only wait and see. <laughs> and now we will adventure into the Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit over on Reddit, surprisingly. Um, someone asked the very important question of why does Fred Bear in the trailer for FNAF VR have Freddy's colors instead of being yellow and black like he is yellow, purple, and black in FNAF 4. Um, he instead looks like Freddy with his brown and black colors so they they asked this and then scott being the nice man he is replied with yeah it was an early build the trailers and images needed to be done pretty early before everything was finished so <laughs> that confirms that the trailer and the teaser images are pretty old we don't know how old but they say pretty early in development so maybe I would, I th would think maybe early of 2019, like early January 2019 or sometime around there that it was probably made, um, or sometime in 
January, sometime in February. That would be my guess because that is pretty early in the game's development, but also not too early that it's, you know, not possible for them to have, you know, any footage for the trailer and any models to go off of for the images. So that would be my guess. But yeah, so Freddy or Fredbear in the actual game is going to have his proper colors. It's just this was an early build. So, it's old, okay? This was just probably a placeholder for the colors. Maybe, maybe, I bet they probably just didn't have the texture textures and colors for him yet. So, that may have confirmed Nightmare Freddy in FNAF VR. That's just my theory. My game theory! <laughs> so, this is something else that has been circling around the Reddit. Uh, the subreddit for FNAF, which was posted by Crappy the Cat, awesome name, and the, they have a picture saying, apparently in the VR trailer, Plus Trap comes out of a gift box, or gift package as they call it, um, and the Brighton version of Plus Trap's teaser from FNAF 4 says that terrible things come in small packages. So whether or not this is just a nod to that image, or whether or not this was Plus Trap's actual mechanic in the VR game, which is going to be interesting because if that is his mechanic, then it's probably going to be completely different from how he was in FNAF 4. But based on the fact that they've already modeled the gift box and his jump scare, this is probably his mechanic. So it's going to be completely different than FNAF 4, probably entirely different rules. And I wonder if... Plus Trap's going to be the, if he's going to have his mini game where you can skip ahead with knights, because we know that we're going to be surviving maybe five, we're going to be surviving until 6 a.m. with at least one night from each game. So I wonder if before each level or before each location, we're going to, we're going to have, um, Plus Trap's minigame to be able to skip ahead two nights like we did in FNAF 4. If so, that's a really neat feature and a really great nod to FNAF 4. But if not, then I've just been rambling on for a few minutes and it didn't matter at all. But it is interesting, nonetheless, whether or not this is going to happen, that this was included in the trailer. So, look out for it when the game releases sometime in April, maybe. And finally, just to end on a high note, there was a lot of discussion whether or not this game was going to be exclusive to the PlayStation Virtual Reality, or whether or not it will come out on other platforms. Thankfully, in Steel Wool Studios' trailer uploaded to their YouTube channel, which is linked down below, this game is coming to PlayStation VR, HTC Vive, and Oculus. So it's coming out on... Pretty sure that's all of the VR things. I'm pretty sure, wait, does Google, I think Google and Amazon might have some VR things, but basically all the ones people care about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Google <laughs> and Amazon, maybe, I feel, I don't know, I don't really care now, but it's coming out on most of the VR games, if not all of them, so that's going to be super good, so anyone with a VR game or a VR headset can play it. And that has also reminded me to start our discussion about Darko. Alright boys, alright. It's time to get serious, alright? Br bring in the serious music. Yep, bring it in. Yeah, that's nice. If you didn't know, Darko is hosting a live stream on April the 6th, and he'll be giving away a... at least one VR headset. I don't... I can't remember if he said how many, but he's gonna be giving away at least one. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but um... I don't have one, so I'm asking you guys, just please help me here, to show your support and show how much you care about me, Hope hoping you care about me. Uh, I'm a pretty cool guy, right? I'm, tell me I'm cool, <laughs> but I know, and I hate to be this guy, but you guys have seen how much I'm excited for the game. I've seen how much you guys are excited for the game, and this is the moment where you guys can truly show your support for this channel, where, if you wouldn't mind, this obviously isn't a requirement, it's just, you know, 
helping out if you feel like it and if you want. I'm not forcing us to do this. But if you want to, I would it would mean the world to me if during the live stream you guys would help me win a VR headset. Now obviously that sounds super selfish, but I don't really like I've used a VR once and it was unbelievable. So and you guys obviously you guys know how much I love FNAF, you guys know how much I love you guys. And like but Neil at the time of recording this we're at 199 subscribers, so it's gonna be amazing when we finally hit 200, which, by the way, thank you guys so much for the support. And just, you know, it, it would be amazing if you guys would help out. I, I don't think I've ever done something like this. I, you know, I've always linked my social media down below, but I don't think I've ever said, hey guys, go follow me on Twitter, you know, in like a serious tone. But it, it would be amazing if you guys would help out. So if you feel like it, it's April the 6th, and let's let's not just win it for me, let's win it for all of us here, okay? That sounds super cheesy, but, you know, if you feel like it, it would mean the world to me. So that's it, that's all the news we have. Um, I don't think we're going to have too many, I don't, I, I, the, 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 I don't think we're going to have another trailer, I don't think we're going to have another teaser, we may have one more teaser. I don't think we're going to have another trailer, maybe a release trailer at the most, but I think we may have like one more teaser just to hype the game, maybe it'll say the actual release date, but besides that, I'm pretty sure it's, it's you know, it's going to be empty until the release of the game, which by the way, I have one more video already planned on this game, it's right here, so I don't forget, the main idea is right there, if you can read it, then you know it's what it's going to be about, but if not, you're just going to have to wait and see. So, keep looking at my calendar, like, oh wait, April's coming up, it's like, it's, uh, pretty close, it's like, in a, less than a week, so, yeah, I'm super excited for this game, hopefully you guys are too, and if you are, again, please be there, April 6th, and let's, for, for the team, bros, for the team, bro fist the screen right now, do any, pfft. awesome, let's get that bread. <laughs> I've had too much. It's been a weird day. Anyway, so thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.